Let's leave that off for the moment. Let's change. Actually, now let's guest OK equals yes. Uh, and this is the command. So I'll do do not use in production. Now they're all global um, permissions, sorry, global configuration. So that now we're going to create one that is uh, that's the share name we're going to be using. The path is the most important bit because this is the path to the uh, clustered storage, so your GFS resource. Okay, so that looks good. Let's come out of that. It's creating a uh, Samba account for uh, root. Uh, now let's check this all works. What we're going to do is go into cluster management and restart the service. It's quite tempting to do a, you know, over here do a service SMB or service Samba restart, whatever it is. Um, but that won't work very well for you in a clustered environment. Okay, let's now see what we've got. And there we go. So we have access now to our cluster. Let's just check we can do something. So let's write a file to it. Uh, what have we got? That'll do. There we go. There's our file written there. And if we do cd sand, cd sand vial, and ls, there you go. There's the file written to our GFS storage. Okay, so that works well. Um, let's come out of there now. Uh, now let's do a copy over the configuration file to the other nodes. We don't have to retype it. Samba smb dot conf dot cluster one and we're going to copy that over to node two in etc samba. I think that looks about right. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's pop over to node 2 and see if it's there. There we go, so it's copied over. So we've checked the individual resources failover. Uh, and we now have configured Samba. So now it's up to us now to uh, stop all these services, delete them, and then create a single service with all the resources set up in kind of a parent child setup. So let's go stop. We don't need to wait. Let's go in, let's find services again. That can be stopped as well. Last one is this one. That can 
can be deleted because we're just deleting the service the resource stays there delete Samba let's delete that you're not deleting the whole share or anything crazy like that okay now let's create a new one and let's actually call this Samba with Sandvol1 we want to automatically start the service uh, run exclusively fail over domain relocate now we need to add some resources now the first one I want to add is an IP address adding a child and we're going to add GFS and add another one and add Samba and we're going to submit that okay let's wait to see what happens so at the moment it's stopped let's see okay so it's brought over the sound file we're just waiting for it to bring up the rest there we go so it's according to this it's automatically started and all running on node 1 let's check yeah that looks working to me okay now here's the proof in the pudding let's uh, shift it over to node 2 so hopefully it shifts over you know the IP address the GFS um, mount and then the Samba will be stopped on one node and then started on the other. Let's have a look shall we. Now it says it's stopped and there we go so it is actually working let's see if it works. Hey! So there we go there is our um, highly available kind of Samba um, share that we've fallen over from one node onto the other.